Week 17 is here, and with the Bills unable to move up or down in their playoff position, is it time that we see some players that we haven't seen most of the year? Welcome to Believers Talk, my name is Joe and welcome to an injury report edition of Believers Talk where we go over the injury report for the game coming up tomorrow against the New Jersey Jets. My name is Joe, again if you haven't already hit that subscribe button guys make sure you hit that subscribe button for continuing Buffalo Bills news guys be sure to join in tomorrow as Mario and Paul from Hashtag Sports have you covered for the game both here on YouTube and over on Sportscaster. Check them out, they do a great job with your play by play and live reaction to the game guys i know that tomorrow we can't move up or down any playoff positioning that doesn't mean that i don't want the win tomorrow i hope you guys feel the same way but we might see some names that we're, we haven't used to seeing most of the season and it's in a particular name that you guys will definitely be interested in seeing tomorrow on the football field but first let's get into the injury report and again guys make sure you hit that thumbs up button leave a comment let me know what you think about some of these injuries are they serious injuries or are they mostly just rest i'm leaning towards mostly rest here heading into wild card weekend we want to obviously have a fully healthy team but if you look at the injury report we know one of those names that's on there he's been on there a few weeks in a row now and that's ty and secchi offensive tackle we know that he's been injured but he was able to practice this week so showing signs of improvement me personally if he's able to play at all this sunday i'd want him to take a couple reps in there just so he can get uh, reacclimated to playing on a football field before wild card weekend. I love the idea of him and Cody Ford kind of alternating uh, time at that offensive tackle position. Oh, Cody Ford really has stepped up in his absence. I feel like having some uh, rotation in there would be better for the Buffalo Bills overall. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Andre Roberts, uh, return specialist, has been listed as out for the game Sunday against the Jets. Again, I think this is just a precautionary thing. I don't think he's seriously seriously injured. But again, we want him ready for wild card weekend. And that's going to get... Uh, give Bills fans something that I really want, I believe, as far as someone else be, who's normally inactive showing up on the active roster. And we'll talk about that in just a second. Then continue to look down this injury report. Shaq Lawson finds himself on the injury report again. I'm thinking this is more of just a precautionary thing. I think he's good to go, but he's not going to play this week again. The Bills can't move up or down in playoff positioning, so there's no need to overextend ourselves if we don't have to. So we might be able to see a, another name that we we haven't seen much this year of, and he's on the inactive list. He can move up to the uh, active roster with Shaq Lawson not playing. I do expect some other starters, some key starters to be listed on the inactive list. However, they were not listed on the injury report as of yesterday. But I wouldn't be surprised to see uh, uh, Lorenzo Alexander on there as a as an inactive player tomorrow just because he's going to get that rest. Frank Gore, some of the veteran guys, I don't think that they need to be out there week 17 risking injury. Uh, so I would expect them to be on the inactive list. And that opens the door for some of these younger Buffalo Bills players, right? I mean, we look at the normal inactives for the Buffalo Bills. You talk about Ike Bakker, Dean Marlowe. He's been on that list a few times, even though he's been on the active roster a couple times this season. Tommy Sweeney would love to see Tommy Sweeney potentially get some playing time this weekend as well. So does that mean we sit Tyler Croft because of his injury history? Do we sit Dawson Knox, even though he's a rookie. I wouldn't like to do that one as much, uh, but you just never know. And then you look at Vincent Taylor, defensive tackle. We know he's been in and out of the active roster a few times this season. TJ Yeldon, if we inactivate Gore, can we bring up TJ Yeldon and maybe get him some reps with this team as well, just in case something does happen to Gore heading into the NFL playoffs. And then, of course, the name that everyone wants to talk about, that's going to be Duke Williams, wide receiver. Everyone wants to see Duke Williams play. And guys, with the uh, with the news that Andre Roberts is going to be inactive, I think this really opens the door up for Duke Williams to get a spot on the 53-man active roster. For those of you who don't know, 
Duke Williams did play on the Buffalo Bills three games this season, week four, six, and seven. Remember, we had that bye week. I'm sorry, week five, seven, and eight. We had that bye week, week six, uh, versus the Tennessee Titans, versus the Miami Dolphins, and then versus the Philadelphia Eagles. If you remember that Titans game, had four completions. Um, excuse me, four receptions, one being for that game-winning touchdowns, four receptions on four targets, did a pretty good job in that game. Started the following game against the Miami Dolphins coming off the bye week, uh, had had one catch in that game, and then same thing with the game against the Philadelphia Eagles, had one catch on two receptions. So for the season, he's had six receptions for, I believe, around 70, 80 yards, and that one touchdown. So Everyone wants to see Duke Williams. Most of you know his story by now. He's been well, well documented on this channel just because in the beginning of the season, I didn't agree with everyone that he would make the starting rotation. He didn't. We did get to see him later in the season. I would love to see continued growth from Duke Williams. Everyone's wondering, hey, why is he on the team? Why is he on the team? Well, you have to think at this point, he did get injured in that Eagles game. Let's remember that. So he was put on the inactive list. And you have to think there's some other reason why he was not put back on the 53-man active roster. Maybe he, he wasn't understanding the offense well enough. Maybe they needed more special teams hands and he wasn't good at special teams. Who knows what the reasoning is, but I do believe we are going to see him this Sunday against the Jets. Guys, let me know what you think about how, how optimistic are you that we're going to see Duke Williams. Do you think he is going to be on the active roster? If so, what do you think he's going to do? How do you think he's going to perform? Is he going to be out there when Josh Allen's out there? Or is he only going to be out there when Matt Barkley is out there? And if he's only out there when Matt Barkley is out there, is there a way for him to get himself onto that playoff roster? Everyone wants us to play Duke Williams. I'm a 6'2 wide receiver. Would be one of the taller Bills wide receivers that we would have. We've seen that Foster and maybe even Roberts really haven't contributed in the receiving game. So we would love to see more contribution from one of these players, especially heading into to wild card weekend. I think he's going to play. I would love to see him get significant time. I would love to see him possibly even play the whole game with Josh Allen in there for a drive or two and then also with Matt Barkley as well. See how much he is getting this offense. See if he's understanding this offense heading into the playoffs because again in the playoffs you never know what's going to happen. People will get hurt. We're hoping to get past week one so even if we, someone gets turn the wild card weekend, we want someone who's able to step up and bring something extra to this team. I think Duke Williams does have a chance to make the wild card roster. Uh, I think it would take a great performance by him, maybe talking about seven, eight receptions, 80, 90 yards, and a touchdown with some of that damage being when Josh Allen is in the game. See how those two connect, right? See how the connection goes between Josh Allen and Duke Williams. We saw in that Tennessee Titans game, they hooked up four times. Again, one was for that touchdown. He he seemed to use his body well in that game, right? Able to get inside position, able to use his body to, to catch some lasers from Josh Allen. And we all know how much Josh Allen loves throwing those lasers, using his body uh, for positioning like a basketball player would fighting for a rebound or something like that. He is able to do that. So we talk about the injury report and you see Andre Roberts is on there. Really opens up the door for a guy like Duke Williams to get a chance to play and hopefully play well. And if he plays well, then the, the Buffalo Bills coaching staff have a tough decision to make as far as which wide receivers to put on your active roster and who to make it active. Again, I would love to see some of these other guys get a shot here. I think Dean, Dean Marlowe will be added from the inactive list. Might see Hyde or Poyer or both listed on the inactive list. Again, don't want to risk injury there. Yeah, I would love to see TJ Yeldon come in for uh, Frank Gore. See Frank Gore on the inactive list. Again, that veteran uh, veteran rest day, if you will. And then maybe even see Ty Nseki, hopefully in for a player two. Would love to see Tommy Sweeney come in and uh, and be able to play a little bit. I still would expect Ike Bakker, maybe even Vincent Taylor to be on the inactive list come tomorrow. But tell me what you think, again, with the Bills. Unable to move in playoff position, we're probably going to see some of these guys make the team, make the active roster this week and be able to make a um, appearance, be able to make some noise week 17, let the coaching staff know that they're able to play and ready to go if needed come wild card weekend. Again, guys, thank you for joining me on Believers Talk for this injury report edition. Again, you talk about Shaq Lawson already being ruled out, Andre Roberts already being ruled out, Ty Inseki possibly still not playing even though he has been practicing.
practicing. Lorenzo Alexander, Frank Gore, both getting a rest day, that veteran rest day they always get. Maybe expect to see them on the inactive roster, not due to injury, but just because they don't need that extra game. They know what they're doing, and they can just get ready, rest up for wild card weekend. And that, again, will open up some spots for these inactive guys. So let me know in the comment section, is there a player on the inactive list other than Duke Williams that you would be interested to see how he does? And if Duke Williams does play, is there a performance that does give him a, a wild card roster spot? Does he have to go for over 10 receptions, maybe even over 100 yards, maybe two touchdowns? Is there anything Duke Williams can do to find himself on that roster come wild card weekend? Again, thank you guys for joining me on Believers Talk. My name is Joe. If you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button, like this video, leave a comment. Be uh, Believers Talk teaming up with BewareTheStampede.com this season. Make sure you go to BewareTheStampede.com. Jeremy has recently started a podcast. Go ahead and check that out. Does a great job. Believers Talk also teaming up with Hashtag Sports. Hashtag Sports and Believers Talk giving you the best play-by-play -play and reaction coverage to every single Buffalo Bills game. And you can also join the conversation as we watch with Bills Mafia. So again, guys, tomorrow the game being presented by Hashtag Sports. Make sure you check them out both here on YouTube and on Sports caster link in the description below i look forward to talking to you all soon until i do go bills